total of poverty. In my place of birth. Walking against my prosperity. Born to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. That means we are dealing with the root of poverty in our life. Every altar of poverty. Every covenant with the spirit of poverty. In my place of birth. In my lineage. In my roots. I command you. Born to ashes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I come against you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every form of poverty, every altar of poverty, I command you to crumble. I command your dis destruction tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the fire Amen. of the Holy Ghost consume every altar of poverty in my life. In the name of Jesus, every altar of co poverty. I command you, burn to ashes in the mighty Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Amen. I come against every spirit of poverty or operating in my lineage in the mighty name of Jesus. I cut you off today with the blood of Jesus. I separate myself from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any covenant without altar, I break it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil altar of poverty in my lineage, I come against you with the blood of Jesus. Everything that holds and binds people down to poverty. I destroy you today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic priest ministering against my prosperity in any evil altar, die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every evil priest in the name of Jesus, every satanic priest that is ministering against my prosperity, against the prosperity of my family, in any evil altar, I command you to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, you evil priest, walking against my prosperity, what? are you waiting for? I say fall down and die in the mighty Hallelujah. name of Amen. Jesus. Die Praise by fire yes, in, in the, the mighty name of, name of Jesus. Jesus. Die, die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Die by fire. 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 In the mighty Every name of Jesus. Yes, die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every stronghold of mental. Every stronghold of mental. Of mental. Of mental. And spiritual poverty. And spiritual poverty. In my life. In my life. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Strongholds of mental. Oh, and spiritual poverty. Affecting my life. Be uprooted. Be uprooted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Be uprooted by fire. In the, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, we are protected by fire. Yes, we are protected by fire. Yes, we are protected by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're still going to pray against mental poverty. Because it is it is in the mind that you have creativity to get wealth. Hallelujah. When when somebody's mind is blind. When he's, die, when he's dead and he cannot see. Even when God is saying, this is what it is. He said, I have given you power to get wealth. Where is the power? What do I need to do? What step do I need to, do, to, to take? You're going to pray, Lord, I have the mind of Christ. May the cri mind, let the mind of Christ begin to exhibit itself in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive wealth. In the name, in the name, of, Jesus. name of Jesus. Yes, Lord By Jehovah, the I receive the mind of wealth, Christ. Lord. In, in the, the mighty name, name of Jesus. Of Jesus. I call in the name of Jesus, of mine, Lord. In the name my of Father, Jesus, my God, I, I receive soundness of mind. Soundness of mind, Lord. Of in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Clearly, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, yes, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I destroy spiritual poverty, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, every poverty of the soul, I destroy today. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh God Almighty, I destroy financial poverty, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let God arise, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. Mother, by the power of the Holy Ghost, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to come against covenants. Any covenant that is operating that is tying us down. You know, covenants can work against people. Yes, covenants even work against people. Sometimes you may have a thousand. What's somebody that has 10,000 naira? Will turn that 10,000 naira to? Another person that has a million will be wondering where did the million go? Because of strange covenants. You're going to say to yourself today, you're going to pray over your life today and say, any covenant in my life. Any covenant in my life. That is threatening the stronghold of poverty. That is strengthening the stronghold of poverty. Break in the name of break Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant strengthening the strongholds of poverty in my life and family. I command you break, 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 break. Break, break, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command you break. I command you break. I command you break. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Break. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we are the power of the Holy Ghost. I command you break. I command you break. I command you break. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Jehovah. Covenant of poverty. Break. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. By your power, who oh Lord. Lord. We command that covenants be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be broken by fire. Be broken by fire. Be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we broken by fire. Yes, we broken by fire. Yes, we broken by fire. Yes, we broke over fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. According to Deuteronomy 8.18, it says, I, have give, I, I give you power to get where you're going to say, Oh, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, my God. Let the power to make wealth. Let the power to make wealth. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, Jehovah. Power to make wealth. Power to make wealth. Fall upon my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah. Power to make wealth. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life. In the name Fall of upon Jesus, my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power to make world. Name we pray. Amen. Today. Today. I raise up. I raise up. The altar. The altar. Of continuous prosperity. Of continuous prosperity. Upon my life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, the Lord. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. We raise up, O Lord. Altar of continuous prosperity. Upon my life and family today. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, the King of glory. Altar of continuous prosperity. Altar of continuous prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mazan Ramasha Gali. Rabu Bumusutsuri. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mazan Ramasha Gali. Rabu Bumushkili. In the name of Jesus. Mazan Ramasha Gali. Rabu Bumusutsuri. Mase Kilibu Musutsuri. Mazan Ramasha Gali. Rabu Bumusutsuri. Moshe Kilibu Musutsuri. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mazan Ramasha Gali. Mase Kilibu Musutsuri. Mazan Ramasha Gali. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mazan Gali. Jehovah by your power. Jehovah by your power. Jehovah by your power. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, the King of glory. Amen. Oh Lord my God. Create opportunities. Create opportunity for my prosperity today. For my prosperity today. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God. Create opportunities, Lord. For my prosperity today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, create opportunity for my prosperity. In the, in the name, name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord. Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost, create opportunity for my prosperity. In the name of Jesus, Lord, Jehovah, make a way for me, Lord. Mighty God, make a way for me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Jehovah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, mighty Jehovah, create opportunity, Lord, create opportunity, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Mazan Ramashagali, Jehovah creates opportunity, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Every curse of poverty, every curse of poverty, fired into my life, fired into my life, by household wickedness, by household wickedness, return to sender. Return to send in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Cause of poverty. Fired into my life. Fired into my family. By household wickedness. I command you return to send I command you return to send I command you return to send In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, return to send By the power of the Holy Ghost. Return to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Return to sender in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, the King of glory. Yes, we command the return to sender. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This prayer says, I receive the mandate. I receive the mandate to enter into to enter into the covenant of wealth. Covenant of wealth. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name ah, of Jesus. Lord, tonight, oh God, yes, Lord Jehovah. My Father, my God. I receive the mandate to law to enter in into the covenant of wealth. In the year 2024, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, Jehovah, I enter, Lord. I receive that mandate, Lord. In the name to enter into my wealth. 
my, my rich places in the mighty name of Jesus. You said, oh Lord God, you will cause my feet to ride upon my high places. Lord, this, in this year, 2024, I in decree, the mighty oh God, name of Jesus, so Lord, and my family, mighty God, the King of Glory, I receive mandates, Lord. In, in the, the name mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Lord. we move into yes, our Lord, mandate. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord God By of the power of the Holy Ghost, I receive the mandate, oh, Lord. Lord. In, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Maze, Kelerum, Son, to him. Maze, and Ramash. Amen. Finally, begin to bless the work of your hands and say, Lord, Father, throughout this year, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty my, name of my, Jesus, my, Lord. My, my, my Mighty God, the King of Glory, by the power of the Holy Ghost, to Lord, in, in the mighty, mighty name, name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and begin to bless the Lord My for Sandra this Musha day, David. number in fifteen. The name of Jesus Let's Lord. go ahead and give Him My the praise. Sandra Let's go ahead and give Him the honor. Let's appreciate Him for His goodness we and His faithfulness. We give all the glory, Lord. Let's give Mighty Him praise God, for His compassion. Father, Let's worship we honor him. you. Let's give him the glory. We bless your name, Daddy. Let's give him the honor. In Let's the give him the adoration. Name of Jesus, Lord. Let us thank God for Jehovah our Father who bless your name. Jehovah Let's will bless him your for name. all that he has Jehovah been doing Jehovah will bless since your the name. beginning In the mighty name of, of this Jesus, prayer and fasting. Let's honor him. Let's bless him. Let us thank him. Let us bless him. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Father, Lord, we bless you. Let's appreciate God for those things that he has done. Let's thank him for the things he will yet do. Let's thank him for those he is doing now. Father, Lord, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you, Lord, for your kindness and faithfulness. We say be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to appreciate God for what he has uh, been doing. And uh, we know that God is really working. Hallelujah. There was a word of knowledge yesterday for somebody who recently had a dream and saw a lot of fruit. Hallelujah. I am glad to announce to you that the testimony is already manifesting for the person. Amen. I got a call today. I said, ah, Daddy, this is it and this is it. I am praying for somebody hearing me. God will give you testimony in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. In the name Amen. Of so we'll be having time to take uh, our testimonies as we go on. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of us online, the, is, we are having some network issue. We believe God that as we go on, uh, things will improve. Amen. Now we are in our week of deliverance, healing, signs, and wonders. And I said yesterday that when we talk about deliverance, Apostle Paul said it categorically in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 in verse 3 to 4 and verse 10 he wrote and he said blessed be God that is first 2 Corinthians 1 blessed be God even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of mercies and the God of all comfort and in verse number 4 he said who comforted us in all our tribulations that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort where we, we ourselves are comforted. That is 2 Corinthians 1. Now verse 10 verse 10 it says who delivered us? That is 2 Corinthians 1 10 now. Who delivered us from so great a death? That is he delivered us before. And though it deliver, is still in the business of delivering us. In whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. He delivered us. He is delivering us. And he will deliver us. 
That is what Apostle Paul is letting us to know when it comes to deliverance. Because there has been this mindset that we, anytime we talk about deliverance, we are talking about one devil, uh, one witchcraft spirit coming out. No. Apostle Paul said, God delivered him and his people from great death. I am praying for somebody this year, 2024. Every strange power, every strange attack flying around shall not locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at Ecclesiastes chapter 6. During the hour of mercy in the morning, we want to read from the message version. During the hour of mercy uh, in the afternoon, mommy read just a verse. I think that was verse 2. But later I sat down and I tried to read from verse 1 down. And I saw something in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6. I want us to read it from the message version. We will read verses 1, 2, and 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 from verse 1 to 3. The preacher here said some very, very interesting things. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 from verse 1. I want us to read together. I looked long and hard at what goes on around here. Are we following? Yes, sir. I looked long I looked hard at what goes on around here. And let me tell you, things are bad. And people feel it. Look at verse 2. And I want us all to read verse 2 together. There are people, for instance, on whom God showers everything. Money, property, reputation. All they ever wanted or dreamed, dreamed of. And then, God doesn't let them enjoy it. Some stranger comes along and has all the fun. It's more of what I am calling smoke. A bad business. Verse 3. Say a couple, he gives an example. Say a couple have scores of children and live long. A couple has 20 children and live long. Long life, but never enjoy themselves. Mm. Even though they end up with a big funeral, I'd say that a stillborn baby gets the better deal. Mm -hmm. This may sound too grammatical. Let's look at the King James Version, and then we will try and look at what this passage is saying. King James Version, Ecclesiastes chapter 6. Verse 1 to 3. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. Verse 2. It says, A man to whom God has given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul of all that he desires, yet God given him not power to eat thereof. But a stranger eated it. This is vanity and it is an evil disease. Amen. Amen. So if God, what the Bible is telling us here, King James Version gives a, a different dimension from what the message version gives. King James Version says, a man makes all the wealth, gets all the money, gets everything. But unfortunately for that man, he does not have the power to enjoy it. And this is going to be part of what we shall be dealing with next week when we enter the week of power. Power to enjoy wealth. There is a power in Deuteronomy 8, 18. Power to make wealth. And here in Ecclesiastes chapter 6, the Bible is telling us that there is another power to enjoy wealth. It is one thing to make wealth. It's another thing to enjoy the wealth. I am praying for somebody. The Lord will give you the power to make wealth in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. And the same God will give you the power to enjoy the wealth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ecclesiastes says, a man 
get everything. God showers everything on him. He has money. He has properties. He has everything. He has the reputation. Everything he ever wanted. He got it. He got everything. He got them all. Unfortunately, something that should have capped all that he had is not available. And then another person, the king, the, the good, uh, the message version says, and somebody comes, a straight, some stranger from somewhere comes and then makes fun and enjoys all. This is where we are going to begin our prayer of deliverance this evening. I will not labor for another man to eat. Rise up on your feet. Amen. Amen. There are people, for instance, that is verse 2, Ecclesiastes chapter 6. I'm reading the verse 2 again from the message version. There are people, for instance, on whom God showers everything. Mm. Money, property, reputation, all they ever wanted or dreamed of. And then God doesn't let them enjoy it. Some stranger comes along and has all the fun. Mm. The preacher says, it's more of what I am calling smoke. Right. As a matter, in conclusion, it is a bad business. Rise up on your feet. You are going to pray and talk to God. Mm. This year is our year of exceeding greatness. Amen. And one thing we have established is that when the greatness of God manifests in the life of a person, <laughs> success is the answer. Amen. Amen. Say, oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. By your power. By your power. I will not labor for another man to eat. I will not labor In the for mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Maso prakata zara baba baba In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not labor for another man to eat. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maka proso toli gada da da bariya. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. By your power. By your power. My labor shall not be wasted. My labor shall Prayer not in the mighty wasted. name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father. By your power. My labor, my shall, labor not shall, not labor shall, not shall not be wasted. My labor shall not be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maso pregete zabra lida da bariya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maure saure kaure saure Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. I am praying for somebody hearing me today. As the Lord lived before whom we are, you will not labor for another man to eat in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your labor shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you, my visitor. Beloved, there is one big lesson to learn here. If God blesses you or God has blessed you, and all you do is to continue to amass and amass and amass wealth. <laughs> there is, I am very sorry for that fellow. Amen. But if your own is that God bless me so I can, I can, I can be a partner in your kingdom. God bless me so I can spend and be spent for God. I want to congratulate you. And as the Lord lived before, this, before whom we are. This year, 2024, the Lord will shower his blessing upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, we are looking at deliverance from the power of the wilderness. Deliverance from the power of the wilderness. Deliverance from the power of the wilderness. There is a power called the power of the wilderness. There is a power called the power of the wilderness. And this power is a very terrible, very wicked, and very dangerous power. And that is why it is good that we quickly address this as the year begins. The power of the wilderness. This power works in a very corny and in a very tactical way. 
And that is why somebody can be in the wilderness of life and will not even know that he or she is in the wilderness. The children of Israel was, were in the wilderness. And then they were living their lives as if it was normal. At the time, self, they were even fighting Moses. Say, uh-uh, Moses, let's go back, let's go back to, to Egypt. Let's go back to Egypt. Our lives were far better then. That is what the wilderness can do. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Deliverance from the power of the wilderness. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Manseah many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you not what? I am praying for somebody. You have compassed that mountain for too long. Mm. Today, let God give you divine direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And command thou the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir. And they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good, take good heed unto yourself, therefore. Verse number five. Middle not with them, for I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot breath, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Verse number six. Ye shall buy meat of them for money. That ye may eat, and ye shall also buy water of them for money that ye may drink. Please look at verse number seven. One, two, three, go. For the Lord thy God had blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord thy God had been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. Amen. This is the first deliverance we want to tackle this year, 2024. Deliverance from the power, from the wilderness. Verse 3 says, Ye have encompassed this mountain for too long. And unfortunately and ironically, this was the kind of life many of us live in 2023. And that is why I am praying for somebody hearing me. This year, 2024, you will not live in the wilderness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The, another version says, you have cycled, you have circled this place. You are just going around and going around and going around and going around. You have been going around in circles in these hills long enough. You have been going around in circles. You are moving. There is movement, but there is no progression. Going around in circle. Amen. The New Living Translation says, you have been wandering around this hill country long enough. So, wilderness is a place of wandering. Going around in a circle. Going around in a circle. The English Standard Version says, you have been traveling around you have been traveling around. That is the English standard version of the Bible. It says you have been traveling around. And when I read that, I asked myself, if I tell you, Pastor B, I am traveling. And you see me carrying bag. By tomorrow, you still see me at that other end. The first question will be, sir, didn't you travel again? But I am but I traveled. But I am still there. So how do you explain, describe a traveler? And yet, the person is not living the same spot. I am praying for somebody hearing me. Any power of the wilderness fashioned against your life, fashioned against your business, fashioned against your career, fashioned against your spiritual life, that power is scattered today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, what kind of a journey is that? You are traveling. And then you are still on the same spot. You are traveling. You are not living where you are. You are traveling. You are still there. That is 
something very difficult to understand. And the irony there is in verse 7. This fellow that has been on one spot going nowhere. This fellow that has been stagnated. Now, the Bible says it has been 40 years that you have been around this man, this wilderness. 40 years. You have not come out. 40 years. There is no plan to come out. 40 years. There is no design to come out. 40 years. There is no vision of coming out. 40 years. There is no intention of coming out. 40 years. There is no direction to come out. 40 years. You are there. Nothing is happening. Ah. Once again, I am praying for somebody. As the Lord lived before who we are. This year, 2024, I break the power of the wilderness against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the irony there is what we have in verse 7. The same people who have been stagnated for 40 years. The same people who are traveling but not living one spot. Look at the kind of thing God has done for them. Verse 7, Deuteronomy 2, 7. The Bible says, for the Lord thy God has what? had blessed thee in some of the works. Is that what the Bible says? For the Lord thy work as what? As blessed thee in all, all the works. The works. Of thy in hand. all the works of thy hand. In knowing thy walking through this great wilderness, these 40 years, the Lord that God had been with thee, thou hast lacked nothing. If I have lacked nothing, why can't I move forward? Many a times you could have said, oh, it's because I don't have money. I want to do this. I don't have money. I have vision. I don't have money. Here is the money. Here is the pleasure. Here, here is the provision. Here is everything. What are you still doing on one spot? That is the mystery of the power of the wilderness. All conditions are normal. Everything is okay, but nothing is working. That is the power of the wilderness. The good news version of Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 7. Remember, remember how the Lord your God has blessed you in everything that you have done. And he has taken care of you. You wander through this vast desert. He has been with you 40 years. And you have everything. <clears throat> Shall we rise on our feet? We are going to pray. Every power of the wilderness, I arrest you by fire. Prayer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, I arrest you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the wilderness, I arrest you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty Go name of Jesus. Pray. Yes, I arrest you. Go I ahead and pray you. in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maso brokete rebo bolo shambra li gadareha. In the name of Jesus. Rekete gede gede bolo shambra li gadareha. Shambra li gadareha. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to God. Go ahead and talk to God. Go ahead and talk to God. Arrest you by fire. Arrest you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God has blessed you in everything. Look at that good news again. Remember how the Lord God has what? Bless you in everything that you have done. Somebody will have thought, yes, I am in the wilderness because God is not blessing me. But here was a people blessed and yet living in the wilderness. How do you explain that? And Ironically, this is the life many are living. You are blessed, but people cannot see. And this is what accounts for why some people will come and say, please, can you lend me 500,000? And truly, they are very sincere. And truly, they believe you have 500,000. And truly, they know that you watch somebody who could, at that material time, lend them 500,000. Because the Bible says, yeah, God said he has blessed these people. And then, in reality, you that is standing, you don't have 40,000. And somebody is on your neck, say, lend me 500,000. And you say, please, I don't have. 
They will say, ah, later you call yourself Christian. Look at you, you are wicked. We don't know you are this. Later you carry Bible, you start preaching. God, not even 500 we ask. You say you don't have. And truly you don't have. All you have is on, on you is 40,000. 40, if one couple misses, there will be trouble. And somebody is accusing you that you did not give him 500,000. The person is sincere. You, you are sincere. What is the problem? There is a power at work. The power of the wilderness. Rise up on your feet. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. It's a silent power. It's, it's a power that makes everything look good. Mm. But nothing is good. It's a power that makes everything look like it is working. Yet, nothing is working. It's a power that makes everything look fine. But in reality, nothing is fine. Say, I command. I command. Every power of the wilderness. Every power of wilderness. Walking against my life. Walking against my I life. I paralyze in the name of I Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Masso prakata zegerele In the name I of Jesus. You. In the name I of Jesus. You. Go ahead and talk I to God. You. Go ahead and talk in to God. Go ahead and talk to God. Meso proto zobro liga rababa babareha. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maso prakata zambra lida rabariha. In brokodosh. Lege dege 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 de mama reba sandaria. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. The power of the wilderness. There are different types of wilderness. Number one. There can be mental wilderness. Mental wilderness. Mental wilderness, the person will just be tired of life. You can't think straight. One plus one, you say, please don't disturb me. Your child jumps on you, you answer the child with a dirty slap. You are angry with everybody, including yourself. And God is not excluded. You are angry with yourself. You are angry with everybody. You are angry with God. That is a mental wilderness. Number two, there is spiritual wilderness. And that is the most terrible and the most dangerous of all the wildernesses. Spiritual wilderness. You want to pray, prayer is not coming. You want to sing, pray, singing is not coming. Amen. Amen. So, you are, you are choked up. You don't, it, it, at a point, you begin to ask yourself, am I actually born again? You want to force yourself to sing, and you begin to sing. Everybody, you are singing, oh, up, up, Jesus, down, down, Satan. You are singing, all of you, you don't know when you lose key. You say, everybody, up, up, Satan, down, down, Jesus. Up, you say, hey, what am I singing? Spiritual wilderness. You are, your spirit man is not coordinated. And that was the condition David found himself in Psalm 46. In Psalm 46, David said, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou cast down? Look at it, Psalm 46. Why art thou cast down? David was not asking his friend this question. He was not asking his wife this question. David was not asking his children this question. David was not even asking his colleagues this question. Who was David asking this question? David was asking himself, hallelujah, amen. So David was asking himself this question. Is this something for this? Okay, hallelujah. So he was asking himself this question by himself. So he does not even seem to know what is going on, uh, what, is, what is going on within himself. Why are thou cast down, O oh my soul? Why, my soul, why are you cast down? I am praying for somebody, everyone passing through any form of spiritual wilderness. May the hand of God locate you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say, may the hand, that is 42, God bless you. Psalm 42, verse 11. Why art thou cast down, O oh, my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise 
him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. So he is talking to his soul. He is talking to himself. Why are you cast down? Oh, my soul, my soul, what is wrong with you? It's like calling yourself, say, call out what is your problem? So that is what spiritual wilderness can do. At that point in time, you, you, are, you are disconnected with everybody, even including the church. You are in the middle of people, but you are still alone. There is financial wilderness. That the list of the needs are not easily met. Financial wilderness. I am praying for somebody. The mighty hand of God shall pull you out of every wilderness you are today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say the mighty hand of God shall pull you out of every wilderness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Rise up on your feet, you are going to pray. Wilderness. Wilderness. It is one of the ways by which the enemy attacks believers. Wilderness. Wilderness. Somebody say, I command. I command. Every power of the wilderness. Every power of the attacking wilderness. Attacking my life and family. Attacking my life I and family. paralyze you in the mighty I name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the 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 name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Look at what Ecclesiastes chapter 6 said. Somebody has the pleasure, has everything. That is verse 2. He has money. He has the wealth. He has property. He has treasure. He has everything. But he does not have the power to enjoy it. After all the labor, he didn't say his son. I'm quoting the message version. That Ecclesiastes 6 verse 2. He didn't say his son. He didn't say his nephew. He didn't say, say some stranger. Somebody that did not even, that is not, that did, is not even connected. There are people, for instance, on whom God showers everything. Money, property, reputation. All they ever wanted or dreamed of. And then God doesn't let them enjoy it. Some stranger comes along and has all the fun. You know fun now. It's not, he didn't say some strangers will come and spend. Oh. When you are spending, you are spending with, you know, with wisdom. You are spending with, but this one is having fun. Me, they just jump inside it, begin to buy wine of 100,000, one bottle, buy this and one million, this and that and that. It is more of what I am calling smoke. It is a bad business. <laughs> this message version now. Lift up your hand. Say, I terminate, I terminate. every activity of the wilderness every activity against, of the my wilderness. against my life and family this year. In the mighty family. name of Jesus, in go ahead and begin to pray. Masata Prakata Zandariaha. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Mazo Proko Bodigada Bamaribo So Proligada Bari. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maso Prakata Zandariaha. Rapa Baba 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 Bari. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Mashe Kata Prababa Bariha, Embroko Sotori de 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 Everything was normal. But nothing was normal. In the wilderness, they were still getting, they were marrying you. They were, they were getting married. They were having children. But they were in the wilderness. In the wilderness, God said in verse 2 of that, of that, of that Deuteronomy chapter, uh, chapter uh, verse 7, that Deuteronomy chapter 2, God has blessed you with everything. The question is, where is the blessing? How can I be blessed and I am still languishing in the wilderness? Remember how the Lord your God has blessed you in, not, he didn't say in some certain thing, in everything that you have done. How 
will I, how do I defend that, that God has blessed me in everything and there is nothing to show for it? Lift up your hands. And this is what accounts for why some people labor, 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 they do all the work, but there is nothing to show for it. Say, I paralyze, I paralyze. every power of the wilderness every power fashioned of the against my life. In the mighty life. name of Jesus, in the 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 name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Everybody sees that he or she goes to work in the morning, comes back in the evening. The Yoruba, we say, it is work we have seen. There is nothing to prove that the fellow is working. Amen. Amen. That is the power of the wilderness. Mm. That shall not be your portion this year. Amen. I say that shall not be your portion this year. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. See me. When the power of the wilderness is following a person, the person may be very, very intelligent. Have you seen these artisans? Maybe mechanics. I've, I've come across many of them. Go and look at it. The best of fashion designers or tailors, go and look at it. Either the man is a womanizer, or the man smokes, or the man is a drunkard. Go and look at them. This artist is a mechanic, very, very intelligent, very, this is not serious. Amen. He is not serious. So, that is what the power of the wilderness does. Somebody rise up on your feet. Whatever is it, they are working, but there is nothing to show for it. You do all the work. But when it is time to bless, to, to reward, it is the person that did not do the work that is eating the reward. Somebody say no more. Somebody shout, say no more. No more. You will not labor for another man to I eat. Will not for you will not to toil eat. for another man to in enjoy. Him. You will Jesus. not sweat for another man in to enjoy. Him. Say, I command. I command. Every power of the wilderness. Every power of the wilderness. Follow me. Follow me. Catch fire. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 Maso Procoto, the Gedea, the Maha, in Brodo Moskin, the Gabaria, Moso Procoto, Ligadaria, in the name of Jesus, power with an in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Somebody in the wilderness, good things will be flying around, they will not remember the person. Even the one that he or she is qualified for. Say, ah, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, we'll give you next, uh, next time when another batch comes. Why must it be another batch? What happened to this batch? That is the power of the wilderness. Mm. Whoever has suffered that in the past years, I pray for you in the name that is above every other name. This year, 2024, it shall not be your portion in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for somebody right away. Whoever is sitting on what belongs to you, you know, that individual you are hearing me, you are watching, it has been a pattern in your life. What, but what you deserve, they give it to another person. What you deserve, they give it to another person. This year, it shall not be your portion. Amen. That was the work of the power of the wilderness. Maybe it was only because of you that God said we should treat this today. I want to pray for that individual. Whoever is it, that has been sitting, thank you, Father. The Lord said there is somebody. Something they have taken from you years back. Mm. Suddenly, before January ends, there will be restoration. Amen. We were all here on Sunday when our sister was sharing the testimony. The job she has applied for, how many years ago? Six years ago. She submitted the application in a very good company, good place. Six years ago. All of a sudden, when was it they, they sent you the letter? Last week. Six years ago, she applied. This last week, they said, please, 
the job you applied for six years ago, this is the letter come. Amen. And thank God she has gotten something. I said, okay, if they want to employ you, let them pay you six years salary, six years allowance, six years bonuses, six years and then I will agree you go. The question is, what has been happening in the last six years? Number two, this is a season where they are retrenching, they are sacking people. Am I right? Why is it that it is now that they are calling her? When the power of the wilderness is dealt with, Things that were not happening for good before will begin to happen. I am praying for that individual. Somebody, you are there, you are hearing me. The Lord say I should tell you, one good thing they have taken from you, somebody has been sitting on what belongs to you. As the Lord lived before whom we are, before this month ends, it shall be restored unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say it shall be restored unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be a man in your life shall be overthrown. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Finally shout it loud and clear. Say, I command. I command. Every power of the wilderness. Every power of the attacking wilderness. Attacking my life and destiny. Attacking my life and destiny. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Massacre. Prali da baba mrede bo shondori anaba. Embro lo do bo zo bro go do masairi makasanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masota Kapralidanaha, Nekotorobodo Boshana, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. There is somebody you had a dream not long ago. As a matter of fact, you have been con confused about the dream. In that dream, you saw yourself entering a place, and when you got there, you saw people, big, big people, who were feasting. Amen. And all of a sudden, that dream cleared. Every near success syndrome in your life is terminated in the name of Jesus. Amen. You just had, you just had that dream. The person, you don't even know the meaning. The meaning is that you have been taken to a place of honor. But shortly before that thing is settled, something pulled you out. I pray for you in the name that is above every other name. Any strange hand that is pulling you out of place of honor. Any strange hand that is dragging you out from where God wants to plant you this year. I command that hand to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I join my faith with that individual. That place of honor that God has prepared for you this year 2024. Collect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall locate you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Get your prayer request and find somewhere to kneel down and talk to God. Find somewhere to kneel down and talk to God. Go ahead, begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to Him. He said, Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things you know it not. He said, I did not call the house of Zion to seek me in vain. Just go ahead and begin to talk to him. That God, I have come. These are my requests before you. You say I should ask and you will answer. Go ahead and begin to talk to him. Go ahead, begin to talk to him. Rabba baba le mosom prokoto mahinda bragada le bushantaria im bragada la baba baria mauli sakata le mosandaria in Jesus mighty name we pray that individual as you are even praying you are shedding tears and what is the matter last year 2023 you suffered in the hands of sicknesses strange ones and that is why among your requests this year is that God give me good health. The Lord say I should tell you, he has given you good health. This year, 2024, all the sicknesses, diseases, and affliction you suffered 2023, you shall not hear of them again anymore in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Lord, I lift up every prayer request unto you, Father. Thou God that answers by fire, answer us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Jesus Lord. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.
Amen. Let's get our free will offerings. By the grace of God, tomorrow we will be looking at what are the characteristics of the power of the wilderness. When the spirit of the wilderness is at work, what do you see? And by the, on, on Thursday, we will be looking at healing. And then Friday and Saturday, uh, we'll be looking at uh, Sunday as well. We'll be looking at the God of signs and wonders. Father, we thank you for the privilege to honor you with our offerings, tight and support. We say be glorified in Jesus' name. As we give, we pray, oh God, that you will receive it and bless it back to us a hundredfold. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Tomorrow, the meeting continues at 6 p.m. And on Thursday, we'll be here at 11.30 a.m. for a moment of solution. And 6 p.m. Uh, as we continue the 30 days prayer and fasting. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for today. We bless you. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree that what you have done in our life today is permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, before we close, somebody, the Lord just dropped in my heart that something will come up between now and Friday in your place of work. Something very strange that may feel like it is going to shake you. The Lord said, do not be afraid. Amen. I don't know details, but we will pray along. Amen. Amen. God is about to do something. But what God is about to do will come in form of, as, in form of a shaking. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But all of a sudden, your elevation shall manifest. Amen. So, do not be afraid. Don't be scared. God is at work. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you 6 p.m. tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.